Welcome back everyone to a brand new Helldivers 2 video. So as you guys play more and more Helldivers 2, you're going to quickly notice that you're going to need a mass amount of samples to go ahead and get some of the unique ship module upgrades and to go ahead and upgrade your orbital strikes, eagle strikes, and so on. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the best and fastest way solo to go ahead and farm your common, rare, and super samples. Now doing this farm also doubles as a metal and super credit farm. You're going to get a lot of it as well pretty quickly. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is to run a light armor. Now doing so is going to make you quicker, but the main reason why we want to do this is for the passive that will allow our pings to basically act as a UAV and scan the surrounding area. Now doing so is going to reveal enemy positions allowing us to avoid patrols but more importantly it's going to let us know where enemies are at and that is really important and i'll talk more about that here in a second so the first kind of samples we're going to talk about here is actually the common and rare samples now the mission you guys are going to want to do to farm these samples are going to be over on the automaton side now the mission type and the name of it is going to be called retrieve essential personnel it's going to be like a defend mission now it is going to say on the thing that it's going to take 40 minutes to complete or at least the time you have but that is false once you load in and drop down to the planet you're actually only going to have about 15 minutes to complete the mission now you don't actually have to complete the mission if the time runs out and simply the dropship will get called so i would advise if you're just trying to farm completely disregard the main objective and go straight for those samples now i would just run around the perimeter of the map and just try to pick up as many samples as you possibly can and look for those clusters of rare samples because they'll usually be in about a pack of like five to six or so on and they're really condensed so just look out for that now the reason why i talked about the light armor in the beginning is because we can take full use when farming these samples now specifically these samples are mostly spawned at enemy locations on this mission so basically we're just going to ping with our light armor scan the area and obviously a cluster of enemies 90 percent of the time you are going to find common or rare samples so just head in the direction and then you will most likely find them so combining that with running around the perimeter, pinging for enemies with the light armor, you're going to get a lot of samples pretty quickly. Now on average, me solo playing, it takes about 15-16 minutes, and I usually get in the upper 20s close to the 30s of the common and around 15-20 to 20 rare samples. So it is really, really efficient, and like I said, out of everything that I've tested and every other farm that I've tried, this is the best way solo playing. And if you're on a group play, it'll be even quicker to get all these samples, so you might be able to do the mission in 8-10 to 10 minutes or quicker allowing you to farm a lot faster and like i said i'm pretty sure this is the best method that i have seen and tested currently to go ahead and farm those common and rare samples especially if you're solo playing now you can pretty much run anything for your loadout when doing this mission but if you run like the shield backpack that'll help or the actual deployable like physical shield that'll also help you know just some things like that will speed it up but majority of the time your loadout is not going to matter for doing this mission because we're just going to be running the perimeter picking for enemies kicking the samples up and then just extracting so you don't really need to worry and you can pretty much access this as soon as you can actually get this mission type now the higher the difficulty you're on the more samples and rare samples you're going to get from this mission so do keep that in mind but the higher the difficulty the harder the enemies and you'll eventually get tanks to start spawning and so on so just keep that as well in the back of your mind Real quick, if you guys do want to support me, the best way you guys can do that is by hitting that like and subscribe button. It really lets me know you guys are enjoying these type of videos. It also lets YouTube know as well, which in turn puts it out to newer people that are unfamiliar with the channel, which in turn supports me even more. And like I said, liking and subscribing is the best way to support me if you wish to do so. We also have a community discord where you can join up, talk to people that are like minded like yourselves, use our LFG system to find people and we help people out if they have any questions or if they need help on some specific missions. As you can do all that in the discord so if you're interested in that the link for the discord will be in the description as well as the comment section of this video all right let's get back to the video now as for the super samples there isn't any specific mission type to actually go ahead and farm them so you kind of have to go into pretty much any mission just make sure you're on difficulty 7 or above because that is when the super samples will be able to start spawning now it's also important as well to run light armor here because like i said earlier we can avoid patrols and figure where enemies are at which are going to help us a lot when farming these super samples since they do not spawn in missions so we're going to have to run around the map to find them now there is a trick that you can actually do when dropping into a mission you can actually see them on the map now there is going to be like a little silver rock or silver blob and that is going to indicate on the mini map when actually you find that uh, specific icon that is going to tell you hey this is where a super sample rock is at 
Now I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen now of what the super sample will actually look like on the mini map and like the icon that you want to look for. Now the quality is not going to be the best. I apologize for that, but I'm going to have to pull it from in game, you know, throw it on screen for you guys, actually enlarge it and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and enhance it and get it the best qualities I possibly can for you guys, but it's not going to look 100% great. Um, so I'm going to circle what you're looking for in red. And like I said, you guys will see it a lot clearer in game since it is not the best quality here on screen. Now you're basically just going to look for these rocks and you're going to run to them. That's going to be, like I said, they're going to look like little silver rocks or like silver blobs on your map. Now there is going to be a false super sample rock on the map. I'm not sure if it's hundred percent of the time, but sometimes I actually find one that is false. It's a dormant rock with actual like, you know, enemies near and stuff and no super samples and no samples and nothing near it. So there is kind of like a bait one. Do keep that in mind. If you do find one, just look for the other icon on the map. Does the same icon as that bait one? And that should be the actual real one with these samples near it. But like I said, this is the best way that I found to actually find the samples just by dropping in, looking for that on the map, running towards it, grabbing the samples and get out. On average for me, it usually takes about five to six minutes or maybe a little bit longer to actually figure out where the icon's at. Go get the thing and extract. So it's pretty quick. Um, it's a lot better than just running around aimlessly trying to find the actual sample on the map you know, because there is no really way of telling. Uh, you can actually run the enhancement. I think it's called the UAV beacon. That'll give you about 40% more radar range, which is really nice when you're running around uh, trying to find the super sample because it will mark it on the map since it does count as a place of interest from further away than you normally would if you weren't running it. And running that enhancement will also kind of help on the first one too to farm these common and rare samples since you can see enemies from farther away. And like I said, for the common and rare samples on that mission that we discussed earlier, usually they spawn near the enemies. So in turn, that UAV and the light armor will help to actually notice and ping the enemies. That's it for this video, guys. But I just want to take a second to thank everybody for actually joining in and just watching and supporting me and, you know, liking and commenting on the videos and subscribing to the channel. We're closing in on 4K subs now, which is absolutely insane. I never thought I'd even get here or close to 4K. And I can't even imagine what a month or two months or a year down the line will actually look like for my channel. And it's crazy to see how many of you guys are actually joining up in the Discord, talking, you know, like asking questions, helping other people when they need help and using the LFG system. And, you know, like when I go to bed and wake up and I see that, you know, there's like five, 10 new members that joined overnight. It just, it always brings a smile on my face. So I just wanted to thank you guys for all the continued support on the videos. And like I said, we're closing on a 4K subs now, which is absolutely insane. And I just can't even wait to the newer games like Dragon's Dogma and all that come out. You know, I cannot wait to keep making content and just keep supporting me the way you guys do because it, it always gives me motivation to keep pushing forward to keep making content and even on days where i'm not feeling 100 percent, i just look at the comments and look at the discord and it always brings me right back up to 100 percent, and i'm always raring to go again to make new videos for you guys like i said that's all i have for you guys for this video i hope that you find the video enjoyable and then maybe some of the information was useful to you guys or maybe you found something you didn't know and i hope that you can now go ahead and do this farm and get a mass amount of samples for you guys to actually upgrade your ships and modules which will in turn to make you even stronger thank you guys for all the support like i said and the continued support on the videos hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night depending on when you're watching these videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace